Hello and welcome to Emerald Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things RC, 3D, and sometimes quilting. Today we're going to be talking about this uh, this this uh, nice little uh, tricopter, uh, a mini tricopter that I found up on Thingiverse, and some of the problems that I've had in uh, in printing out the parts. Uh, the main body of the parts um, were pretty straightforward. Um, I've done it in ABS. I tried it in PLA, but it really just kind of began to delaminate, but the ABS is, 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 is solid. Um, but there was one little problem. The, uh, the build is, uh, was pretty straightforward, but this little back piece here that we're gonna look at in more detail, right back here, where the arm is, that was a bugger to print out, and I modified the print file, the SDL file, to make it a bit easier to uh, To make it a little bit easier uh, for it to print out. So nice little perfect size for indoor flying and it has some capabilities for outdoor flying as well. So um, really like this uh, really like this uh, unit that the gentleman did a did a great job in uh, providing all the necessary parts. Um, it's um, it's probably one of the best prints that I've ever done. Like I, most of the parts were flat, so they laid down on the bed, nice, and, nice and flat. Um, here's an arm here. So on a 3D printer, when you have an arm and it prints flat out on the bed, that's excellent. You know you're going to get a good product when uh, you uh, when you print out this way, and most of the parts were solid. It was a beautiful build, except for the rear arm. And I'm going to show you in some detail as to what happened to that and uh, explain why on my Prusa. Now, on other brands, it, it may not be an issue, but on the Prusa it was. Um, and, and what I did to solve the problem. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at, uh, at this problem piece and how it was resolved to make a really good uh, 3D tricopter. Now, how this, how this part was printed, this is the main arm, okay, this is the, this is the motor plate uh, that actually fits into the rear arm, and it rotates, it gives you your yaw for your tricopter. And when it printed out, it was printing out flat on the bed, which is say, hey, that's, that's my favorite way of printing, it's flat. However, because these pieces are so small, at least on my Prusa, when the print head would go by it, it actually started to melt some of the plastic um, uh, as, as you're moving back and over top of the product. So uh, in order to solve that, I changed the printing angle and I changed it to print this way. And I printed it with a, um, with a raft and I printed it with uh, supports. And that gave me a very sturdy, it gave me a very sturdy, um, yaw control here at the back. Um, it's, a, it's a lot better. You can see that it's very thick. There's no melting uh, and it's, it's sturdy. It's as strong as a rock. Now I had to clean off all the supports which is because I'm lazy, something I don't want to do. Um, uh, but it does work fine and uh, this is going to be a great tricopter. Really one of the best uh, one of the best uh, builds uh, from a 3D printer that I've had. It's complete. Everything was in the kit. Uh, like I said, I will put I will put this modified STL file up on Thingiverse on my channel. So those that are interested in printing this, this is as good as anything you're going to buy out there. This is solid. ABS is the way to go. Uh, but I'm really I'm really pleased with this. Uh, so we'll keep you informed on other projects as we move forward. Well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video on uh, the 3D. 3D tricopter build, 3D printed tricopter build, and the tips on how to do it successfully. Uh, I'm certain you're going to have fun uh, with this build. Uh, it feels good when you uh, do your own do your own thing and, and build a product that actually works. Um, if you if you uh, enjoyed this video, say like and subscribe to my channel. I certainly do appreciate all of you uh, who have subscribed. 
uh, and I hope you found this uh, useful. Again, I will have the modified file up on Thingiverse uh, for you to use uh, uh, when you decide to make this build. So thank you very much uh, for watching, and we'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows.